Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm about to go do some serious retail arbitrage. You're gonna hit a lot of places. I haven't done that in a while. I need to, you know, keep the inventory flowing. Um, so I'm gonna take you along with me and um, ignore the zit here. Mercy. I'm trying to make a video and that's, that thing popped up. Anyway, we're gonna go see if we can uh, make some money. Um, Look at the lights behind me. These are really cool lights. Um, I got these on Amazon. They were uh, like $13.99. It's just like this really thin, like copper type wire. And um, it's flexible and it's very long. And um, I don't, I'm don't. i not even gonna be able to keep it here unless I snip it. I don't know if I wanna snip it yet. I'm just still trying to decide what I wanna do with it. But it comes with a remote, uh, plugs in, has a USB, plugs into the wall. Um, very nice and um if, i love having like led lights around because it, it relieves stress for me it really does you know i have them in my room you've probably seen in videos like the christmas blue strobe lights uh they're, they're very relaxing and i just like like this one i have it on the strobe where it gets real low real light but you can turn it to all kinds of things like um i just turned it off uh, all kinds of different colors there um you can turn down the brightness so it's just really I guess the uh, this camera doesn't really give it justice but it's really cool um, all kinds of different settings you can do it on flash um, strobe uh, what else you got fade all kinds of different things um, but I don't know where I'm gonna put them and that's a little bit too Christmassy for me right now probably but uh, I think it's a pretty good value I'll throw a link in the description if anyone's interested in these, um, need some LED soothing lights, check them out. So my first stop of the day is a Home Depot and I find stuff right off the bat. These Black & Decker hedge trimmers, I believe they were $12 and I sell them for about close to $50. i am going to make about $30 a piece on them, got quite a few there. So I think it's about $180 profit maybe. Um, then I find some monster outlets. The, uh, the big ones were 10 and then the smaller ones were like six something. I'm gonna sell those on eBay, not gonna sell them on Amazon. Uh, I'm gonna double my money on the large ones and the smaller ones. Um, I could make up to 20 bucks a piece on them. So another like 60, 70, 80 bucks there. So uh, pretty good finds in Home Depot. And um, <laughs> find one more thing to fill my cart, this Metal Rescue uh, Remover Gel. Gonna sell this on eBay for about $22, $25. Uh, they were right around three bucks a piece. Uh, I can ship it in a priority mail, padded flat rate envelope for $7.33 and still make some pretty good profit in the end. The first stop at Home Depot was great. Should make $250, $300, just depending on how well stuff sells. Uh, stuff looked pretty good, so I'm happy. My next stop was this Meyer here, and there's quite a bit of clearance on this in cap and in the store in general. A lot of it was just not priced well. I did end up picking a couple of those pet, uh, littlest pet shop toys up. Um, then you just see a bunch of like houseware stuff, which usually doesn't sell well for some reason. Like some of the uh, small appliances will, but they just weren't clearance low enough. And uh, over here, you can see some of the Schwinn bike tires. Uh, those were priced pretty good. I might have been able to make a little bit of money on them. It's just that I've had trouble selling bike tires in the past. You think you, you wouldn't, but um, <laughs> I have. So I just kind of left them. They were like $5. I could have doubled my money. I just didn't really feel like dealing with it. So here's what I picked up inside that Meyer. Um, <laughs> not a, actually pretty good, actually, uh, when I think about it. Just kind of some weird stuff. First of all, this littlest pet shop toy set was 5 bucks. Um, I'm going to make $6 on it. I got two of them, so um, I'll make $12 profit on that. should sell very well. And I uh, got some of this Sunbum. It's like vegan or gluten-free or suntan lotion, I guess. Um, <laughs> um, but I kind of just bought a few of these, probably for me. They had about 10 of them, and they sell for $14.99 on Amazon. Great rank. And um, also... They were three dollars and something so i would have made pretty good profit on them all problem is i'm just getting nervous trying to sell this type of stuff at amazon trying to steer away from things that i i think that the brands may have a problem with stick with things that i know for sure just to try to protect my account for as long as i can 
I got a, uh, ooh, how many of these did I get? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like maybe of these um, ovulation test systems. Um, people are probably thinking, what is this guy up to? But uh, these sell for $45 on Amazon and they were five bucks at Meyer and uh, restricted on Amazon. But on eBay, they're still selling for around $25. They're super light, so um, I'm going to sell them on eBay. They do expire in about five weeks, so I'm going to get them on there, hopefully get them sold um, pretty quick. Maybe I can double them up as a lot or something, move two at a time. I don't know if people buy that want to buy that many at uh, once, but we'll see. Um, I also got some spray suntan lotion, I think just one bottle. Just going to have that for this summer when I kayak and stuff. Um, it was cheap, and I could have sold some of that, too. There's a bunch of suntan lotion on sale. Again, I just, I don't really don't want to risk it for, I only made, like, maybe a 100 bucks, and um, kind of not worth it to put that risk on eBay. I could have made a little bit of money, but I decided just to leave it for now. Maybe I'll go back and get it. We'll see how it goes. I decided to stop in a Kohl's. I don't do a whole lot of sourcing in Kohl's, but they had a bunch of toys that were 80, 90% off. Most of the stuff was from Christmas, and most of the toys were generic and not worth anything. However, I did find some clearance Legos that were really good, uh, up to 75% yeah, 75 off, and uh, these were 50% off, so I didn't end up buying those, but there were some Batman Legos and some uh, like Ninja Legos and... I ended up, um, I'll make about $180 on them, I think. Uh, there was a 90% off doll there that just wasn't even worth selling at 90% off. There's some more 50% off Legos. Uh, there's my cart filled with the Legos. Uh, I'm going to make, like I said, $180. I'm going to spend like $200, though, to get these Legos, but it's, it's going to be worth it in the end, I think. I'm going to jump in this Lowe's. I'm going to see if I can find any profits, anything I can sell on Amazon. Let's go. I'm walking up and down the aisles looking for clearance. I spot some stuff in the sprinkler irrigation area. Just not clearanced enough for me, but I will keep an eye on it because I have done very well with some of the stuff in that area. Over in the faucets though, I start finding some really good clearance. Uh, was $149, marked down to $37.25 for those faucets. Uh, some towel bars. Um, some of them were good, some of them weren't. Some of my left. I think I ended up picking up those. I can't remember exactly what I picked up, but I will show that stuff at the end of this video and go over it. Uh, but really, it turned out to be a great day in this Lowe's. You see my carts just filled with the uh, faucets and some bags and stuff. And uh, I think, I don't know, I'm going to make quite a bit of money, a few hundred, uh, maybe close to $500 in this cart. I'm going in the second mire now, and hopefully we find some good stuff, just like we just did at Lowe's. Searching the mire in caps for clearance, I come across this Thermocell Tick tubes. Um, they were 40 bucks, marked down to $9.99. Couldn't really sell them well on Amazon, but eBay looked like they were pretty good. So I ended up picking up four of them. I should double my money fairly easy, so it should be about $40 profit. Uh, this mire just ended up not being as good as the other one. However, I am happy to pull $40 uh, potential profit out. I'm now in the second Lowe's, and look at this display they got for the toilets. Pretty interesting. Got a little poo balloon going on there. Uh, but I ended up finding a, quite, a ton in this store, too. Um, absolutely amazing finds. There's my cart. More faucets and um, I'm gonna have to show you what all I got in the end um, it's pretty awesome probably over a thousand in the second Home Depot and the last stop of the day uh, you can see these lights uh, outdoor landscaping lights are starting to go clearance every year I seem to buy a bunch of these and do very well they're not cheap enough yet so I will wait um, I ended up getting a few things in here uh, you'll see at the end of the video here's some Plates that weren't very good, but I ended up stopping at a Target and two Walmarts as well. I just did not find anything in those stores. But overall, it was a pretty successful day in terms of what I did find. I am in the garage. I'm going to show you what I got today. Um, it's a lot of faucets. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen of these boardwalks here. These were like $37. Um, this is spread between three lows. 
And this is by far the best faucet I picked up today. I uh, had like a rank of 20,000 in home improvement. Um, was selling for over a hundred. I just know I was making about $75 a piece on these. Now let's be real here. Lowe's is clearancing out a bunch of these. The price is going to drop dramatically for a while. I may have to hold these for six months or more just to get my $75 profit projected. But they were normally 150 at Lowe's and I think they were, I think Amazon's selling them for even more on, um, on their listing right now. So um, I don't know what the math is on that, but it's quite a bit. And uh, over here, we got some more uh, boardwalk style. Uh, not as many of these. These are like $22 or something. And you'll make about $50 a piece on these. Again, price will probably drop. Then you got these jacuzzis that they're not as good as the Moens. Um, but I was getting them at a pretty good price. This was normally like 150 ish dollars, I think. And it was, I don't remember, $20, $30. Um, not, doesn't have like a really established rank. So I don't know what I'll get for them, but I thought it was a good deal. This stuff will still sell pretty well. Always done well with faucets. Here's another stack of jacuzzis. I spent a lot of money, so going to make some money. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to sell them. Um, based on how many other people are finding these and flipping them. Uh, I also picked up some of the towel bars that were like $6 and something. They were sold for around 30 on Amazon. I didn't go too deep. I could have got double this. I'm just like, I've had these sell really well before, and I've had these sell quite slow and kind of just had to blow them out. It just depends on the style and, again, how much competition. And I just picked up a couple of these too, which will make it about seven eight dollars profit on if the price holds and then other than the faucets i got some of this uh or some of these lights it was just a couple of them they were 12 bucks they were selling for about 45 um so i was the only one going to be on the listing at 45 um because there was someone selling one used for 45 and the rest were so there was no one else selling them so um i'll probably put mine about 49.99 try to get those sold then when I picked up in that last Home Depot, just some of these um, Rubbermaid mopping maximizer um, mop towels. Go on a mop, I guess is how you describe that. I said mop a lot of times there. They were like five bucks, and I, I'm seeing them being doubled up on eBay, um, selling for about $25. So if I can do that, I'm going to get probably about $10 profit per two, um, which is pretty good. I got about six of them so it'll be about thirty dollars profit they should sell fairly well and also over here on these totes i picked up these timers they were a dollar seventy marked down from like 17. um gonna make some money on them not sure how much but i also got see one two three four five of these stanley tape measures for three dollars and some change and they sell for about 15 on amazon i'm gonna make about six or seven dollars pretty easy probably will actually keep one because i don't have a really good larger tape measure so uh definitely some profits to add up there but let me show you what i got a couple days ago it was really awesome um this wasn't today but i got all these bounty towels these were a dollar 87 a piece i could not believe it um so there's 80 towels here and it ended up being like 18 dollars 70 cents in the end um so i'm gonna have paper towels for a while i don't plan on flipping them um I guess maybe I could ship them to Amazon or something, but not going to do that. This is something I can use um, for years because uh, I always need paper towels, and I'm getting them that cheap. It's just amazing. This it's, They're normally like $18 for one of these, I believe. So to get all these for $18.70 is just incredible. But yeah, I think today I definitely cleared a couple grand in projected profits. Uh, may take a while to get those projected profits, but that's fine. It's part of the game, and I'll be happy when they do sell. But I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Be subscribed. Follow me in my reselling adventures. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.